Orville Young in Minnesota. And the results come back that he, he had an abnormality through his entire spinal cord. Presley Holcomb in South Carolina. We, we were already starting to think about, will she be able to drive? Will she ever be able to play soccer again? And Gracie Fisher in Colorado. So I began to feel tingling in my hands and pain in my neck. And uh, within five minutes, I couldn't walk. All have something in common. They have been diagnosed with acute flaccid myelitis. Symptoms have been most similar to complications of infection with certain viruses, including polio virus, non polio and turo viruses, and West Nile virus. The numbers of reported and confirmed cases began to rise in 2014. The CDC has confirmed 386 cases since then. It has earned the title of mysterious because CDC officials don't know what causes the condition or why they began seeing more cases four years ago. Alabama Department of Public Health officials say it may have made its way to the state. There are currently three cases under investigation and we don't have any conclusive information at this time. What will it take to confirm the cases? An MRI. There are some abnormal changes in the spine that have been identified with other patients, and you would need that evidence to actually have a confirmed case. Officials with the Alabama Department of Public Health don't know when the cases were originally reported. They want to stress how rare this condition is. A person's chance of getting AFM is approximately one in a million.